In just two short seasons and 23 games, Seton Hall alum Tony Bazella has returned to his alma mater and has coached the Pirates to a ton of success. The Hall has gone to one NCAA tournament and is on the cusp of another. How has Bazella been able to do it? Well, he's established a winning culture, but on top of that, he's had leadership, and especially this season, which the Pirates only returned one starter, Tabitha Richardson Smith. Bazella has been able to have a ton of success on the transfer market in college basketball. How has he been able to bring them in? Well, they love the fact that Bazella is not only a basketball coach, but he's a family man. It's just something about Coach B. Like, he a family man. He's just fun to be around. Like, he give you energy. Like, he give you, he give you a confidence to, like, want to be on the floor. And just, in his favorite line, just, like, to have fun. Like, you out there just have fun, no matter what. I mean, just the trust that they have in you and in, in your talent and what you're capable of doing, you know, it's more of a two-way communication, you know. He just trusts us. I mean, all of us, all of them do it. He trusts us to go out there and, you know, do what we're supposed to do. I think that I can talk to him. I can go into his office and talk about anything. I can go in there and sit and sit on one of the couches and just say, hey, coach, what's up? Just have a simple conversation. And that kind of relationship is important to me because if you don't have that, you feel like you can't come to your coach. Your coach. And as being, like, being a point guard, you have to be able to have that relationship because you're an extension of your coach on the floor. There was a few people that got in touch with me and said that they knew Coach V and they spoke very well of him. And I was like, you know, he sounds like a, a good man. And when I came here on my um, uh, visit, I loved him. I loved the, the school, loved him. He's a very family oriented man, I, and I love that fact about him. So they, they give a sense of stability to the program, which is something that's difficult sometimes as a coach to implore upon your players if your players don't believe in themselves. Not only do, don't I have to implore it, they believe it already. And then, you know, with, with our encouragement, the, the, the sense of, you know, maturity is, is clearly there, John. And, you know, they make a huge difference in, in, in what we're trying to do here at Seton Hall. And they have Seton Hall pride, and I think that's the main thing. They have to understand what our goal is here at Seton Hall. Obviously, to get a quality education, first and foremost, to be respectful, um, and to win. I mean, that's our goal, uh, you know, and that's the team's goal. So those things are important. For senior forward Tiffany Jones, there has been a lot of adversity she has had to face before coming to Seton Hall. At one point, Jones was lost, looking for a university she could call home before finding the Hall. Um, started off like losing a great coach, Apache Pascal, in 2012, and me having to find myself after that, losing him to cancer, it was just traumatizing because it was like a guy that was like a father figure to me growing up not having my father. And then going around 2013, I lost my mother to kidney failure. And it just, I had to really find myself after that. Honestly, I didn't even think I was gonna go back to school. But it was just like, I made it too far to just give up. Like, so into like, it was just like, I just had to push myself. Dancing around from school to school was like, I was just trying to find myself and like, just going through a lot in life, just like, to be on the floor. It's like, I was just out there. I wasn't there to just play. Like, it was just like, all right, they was just using me. Just here, it's like, it's a business, but I know what I have to do, what I have to bring to the table. And it's fun to play out there with my teammates. For guards Alicia Powell and Shakina Richardson, they are enjoying the Seton Hall way and the exposure that the Big East brings. It's definitely, it definitely creates a big opportunity for me to get a little bit more exposure, to actually have the ability to win a championship with my teammates and to, to make some noise for the Big East Conference as well as for Seton Hall. Our defense turns into offense, you know, that transition, that fast paced game. That's the Seton Hall way, you know, dictating on defense and, you know, just getting after it, hustling, you know, doing doing the extra things. And that's our way of playing. Yeah, because basketball is only like a short period of time in your life. You know, we're a family, honestly. I'm going to know these girls for the rest of my life, you know, going to stay in touch, you know, it's a sisterhood and it's a bond that you create and just know down the line that I always got their back. If anything, you know, if they ever need me or anything, that they can always call. Absolutely, we, we, we give them the belief that we can be the best that we can be, and I want the most out of them. Not just for basketball, John, but for life. I want them, I, I said a couple weeks ago, I want them to be bosses. I want them to be a boss. I want them to have people under them because they have great leadership skills, and I know they'll be great leaders. So not only here on the basketball court, in their different ways, but also in life, and that's my goal for them.